Assalamu alaikum and hi to everyone. In today's video, me and my group mates are going to present about one of the application of differentiation which is related rates. First and foremost, let me introduce myself and my group members. I am Nur Amanini binti Abdurrahman, accompanied by Nur Alia Safa binti Mama Samud, Nur Alia Nabila binti Rahim, and lastly Nur Aina Tiba binti Zaidi. So, what is differentiation? Differentiation is the process of finding the derivative or rate of change of a function. To solve differentiation problems, we can apply three techniques, which are the derivative of sum and difference, the derivative of product function or the product rule, and lastly, the derivative of rational function or the quotient rule. Apart from related rates, there are also other application of differentiation, such as analysis of function 1, increase, decrease, and concavity, analysis of function 2, relative extrema, first and second derivative tests, applied maximum and minimum problems, and lastly, rules theorem and mean value theorem. So, let's get to know what is related rates problem. A related rates problem is a problem that involves at least two changing quantities. The question should ask us to figure out the rate at which one is changing, given sufficient information on all the others. Or, the idea is to find the rate of change of one quantity in terms of another quantity whose rates of change are known. There are five steps in solving related rates problems. 1. Draw a diagram if possible. 2. Label all the quantities mentioned in the question. 3. Find an equation that relates the quantity whose rates of change is to be found to the quantities whose rates of change are known. 4. Use either chain rules or implicit to differentiate both sides of the equation with respect to time. And lastly, solve for the derivative that will give the unknown rates of change. Without further ado, let's try to solve some question involving related rates. Problem Statement 1 Air is being pumped into a spherical balloon at rate of 5 cm cube per minute. Determine the rate at which the radius of the balloon is increasing when the diameter of the balloon is 20 cm. Problem Solution First, we need to write down the given information. The rate of changes at which the volume is increasing, dv over dt is 5 cm cube per minute. Next, diameter of the spherical balloon is 20 cm. We need to convert to the radius and we get 10 cm. We need to find the equation that's related to the question. In this case, we can relate with the formula volume of a sphere. Volume equals to 4 over 3 pi r cube. And we need to differentiate the volume with respect to radius. And we get 4 pi r square. dr over dt equals to dr over dv times dv over dt. So dr over dt with the radius equals to 10 cm is 1 over 4 pi r square times 5. And the answer is 1 over 80 pi centimeter per minute. Next, I will proceed with the problem statement 2. Gas is escaping from a spherical balloon at the rate of 1000 cubes inch per minute. At the instant, when the radius is 10 inch, at what rate is the radius decreasing? And at what rate is the surface area decreasing? As we already know, dv per dt is negative 100 inch cube per minute. Radius is 10 inch. Now we need to find dr per dt and da per dt. Next solving process. For the step 1, we can use related formula. For the step 2, we 
differentiate equation for the step 3 we substitute with stated value and lastly we solve it next the solutions we'll call the radius of the balloon ft and the volume vt these are related by the formula v is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubes and we know that dv over dt is equal to negative thousand inch cubes per minute at all times we may differentiate the above the above equation to find that dv over dt is equal to 4 pi r square times dr per dt similar to dr over dt is equal to 1 over 4 pi r square times dv per dt substituting in our radius we find that when the radius of the balloon is 10 inch dr over dt is equal to 1 over 400 pi times negative 1000 equal to negative 5 over 2 pi inch per minute so the radius is decreasing at a rate of 5 over 2 pi the possibilities probabilities is 0 0.795775 inch per minute So we proceed with the solution to find surface area which is dA over dt. For the surface area, we have the formula A equal to 4 pi r square. Differentiating, differentiating this, we have dA over dt is equal to 8 pi r times dr per dt. Then when r is equal to 10 inch, dA over dt is equal to 8 pi times 10 times negative 5 over the 2 pi is equal to negative 200 inch square over minutes so when the radius is 10 inch the surface area is decreasing at a rate of 200 square inch per minute as a conclusion we can conclude that the objectives we use in these problems are accepted the solution we use to find the value of related rates are succeed so the application of differentiation is used to compute the rate of change. The definition also includes polynomials, logarithm, speeds, exponential, and more. Differentiation which respect to time or other variables required application of the chain rule since most problems involve several variables. Last but not least, we must understand that what is related rates and know that it can be used in our daily lives. The acknowledgement of this assignment is the success and completion of this assignment necessitated a great deal of guidance and assistance from many people and online resources. Whatever we have done is only due to the support and their guidance. We are extremely satisfied because we are managed to complete this assignment within the time given by our lecturer. This assignment cannot be completed without effort and cooperation from our group members Nur Amanini, Nur Aina Jiba, Nur Alia Safwa and Nur Alia Nabila. We are thankful that our lecturer give us this opportunity and confidence to complete this assignment. Last but not least, we would like to express our gratitude to our group members as well as the lecturer's support.